Welcome to Yeshiva Dav. She was sponsored by Lili Nishmas. I'm Yaakov Shom Lehav Nasitzchok. We're holding a Bometzio Dav Pehi. We got the Pehi Mudalaf on top. The, the Gemara says, we're in the second wide line. Omar Rav Chaviv, the second wider line, because there'll be a lot wider lines going down. Omar Rav Chaviv in Yisurim. So we saw the blows of Shimon had Yisurim. The Rebbe felt also, you know, Yisurim is, is good. Kibla late Leisa Shoni. He accepted himself 13 years of Yisurim. Shit bit Samirto, put it Samirto Rashi says, he had a stone where he urinates. It's like a kidney stone, maybe, yeah. The Sheva bit Safarno. Safarno is a sickness in the mouth. The Amilo, Sheva bit Simarto, the Sheva bit Safarno. So it's the opposite, seven and six. I understand what the numbers mean. Okay. The ones who think care of the animals of the Rebbe. He was richer in the true market. The first point out of here, because the zevel, the garbage, the fertilizing of the feces of the payments of the Rebbe was worth a lot. So he became rich from that. When you give, when you, so this is like a by the way, by the way, he's very rich. Now, when he would give food to the animals, the noise that the animals used to do was there's so many animals, there's so many horses that they, it went on, it went around for three meals. You could hear the horses eating when you know when they're eating, making noise. Havi mechavin, the rabbi shayt the dal rabbi the basic case. Rabbi he had the most pain when he went to the bathroom. So when Rabbi went to the bathroom, he made sure that to feed the horses to cover the noise of Rabbi. Rabbi would scream from pain. So he would make sure to have the noise of the horses to cover up so people don't hear it. Even, and even so, the Rebbe's voice of scream, the agony, was stronger than the voice of the horses. The Shomulei and the people in the in the in the ships heard it. Even so, you served the Ablaz of Hashim and Adif and Rebbe. We learned before Ablaz of Hashim is serving more greater. He accepted it himself. Nobody forced him to get it. He didn't do anything wrong. I mean, he, didn't, he did something wrong and he felt it was wrong. But he did. A, 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 he took upon himself the Yisuri. The Rabbi, there was a story. Something went wrong and therefore he got punished and he accepted it upon himself as a, a but it was came through, 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 through a mice. What what is the Lema Isibo Mahi? What happened? Tahu Eglo, there was this this uh, calf that have come out to the Shritos, going to be shechted. Also, Talia Lereisha been covering the Rebbe. She puts her head in the under the wings of Rebbe. The Kabochi, Rebbe start crying. Omale Zil Lech, sorry, in the in the Kabochi, the calf started crying. Omale Zil Lech Kachim Tzad. I could go. You were born for this. So he was punished with Yisrael. So he accepted it on behalf of, right? But, um, because more I said before, you keep it like lay, but it was because he was supposed to be punished, he accepted the Yisrael on, on himself. That, that's, how, that's how it started. They left the Maise. One day, the maid, the maid of Rebbe was cleaning the house. Have a shot you make a kushto, make a kachalo. You found these rats that were there, and she was gathering them. Omalo shafkinu, leave them, don't throw them away. Ktiv rachu al kol ma'isov. You have to have rachmanus on every creature. Amru yul merachem merachem alei. Because he was merachem, so the merachem him too. Now, here, the first we discuss over here exactly what's what's the story. But the big question is: the calf came to Rebbe because they're going to shechita. No. That's what the animals do. They go to Shkita. So why, why is that a, why is that a taina? Well, what, what, what's, what, where it was in Rechmonis? So the, the, the Marasha says that you usually don't shef the calf. You shef that uh, older animal. You use used for plowing, and then you shef it. It is a little too early. So that's why it was a little bit more Rechmonis. It's not really meant to be shefted right now. The Marasha says. There is but Ristorin once mentioned in the name of Rav Figel, and then I saw that the Ritzchuk Blazer, the Kuyach Ve'oyer, 
says this a little different signon, uh, but the idea is that yes, of course, the animal goes to shechita. But when a, the way Rav Achtigl said it, when a, someone puts your his head under your wing, you have to have a chwanis. Says the way of the Kriyach Vilar says, what is Rabbi telling the animal? Lech kilakach nutzat, you were born for this. And this is what you have to do in him. He says, imagine each person, because Bo will tell him, sorry, lekach nutzat. I mean, too bad. Right now, do you deserve anything better? We we davening for Achmon is more than what we deserve. So also here, more than deserve. He comes and asks you, I have to give more than deserve. So that's another ma'alach. This is really more of, well, than wrong, but how do you treat such a thing? The third ma'alach over here, many of them, I should bring it, including the Yavits of the year in the back, the Chidol, and the Ben Yoyoda has a long arichus in the story, which we'll mention in the Shomach Shavu. They all say the idea is that, as we mentioned previously, the animals many times have neshamas that come into the animals. Because really one can ask, what do you mean the animal's crying? The animal cries? The shot is that there was a neshama, there was rugels in there. Rabbi told him, your kapara will come through shechita. But he should have davened for him to have a kapara, which is not so, not, not such a big suffering. That was the time that Rabbi. Okay. Says the Gemara, Kulishoni Yisru Dablazar, when your blood was suffering, nobody died too early. Rabbi was suffering, nobody, there was no need for rain. Why? When rain comes down, it's like Yom Adin. And without going down into too much, Rabbi Shatta is you having a shpah from above, so it's Yom Adin. Now that you need rain, rain is not a good Rain is good as but it brings the into the world, and therefore it's a problem. So therefore, in the time of Rebbe, there was no rain. After the Akri Pugla Mishu, when he took out a cabbage from the, in the field, have a kind of beer malmai, it's full of water. So there was enough water in the world, even though there was no um, rain. He could Rebbe last year, the Blazer of Hashem. So Rebbe comes to the city of Blazer of Hashem. After Blazer of Hashem was Nifter. Omer Lay, yes, to Ben Lois and Sadiq. Is it Tzadik had any, any son? Amulu Yeshto Ben. Yes, he does have a son. I wasn't sure he has a son. They call Zoino Shenis Kiavishtayim any Zoino who's hired for two. So Charto Bishvoinoshi. She pays him eight because he was so beautiful. In other words, in other words, he was beautiful and he was a Baladeir Pashas. Asyo he became Asmechei Berebi. Made him a Rebbe. Called him Rebbe. Pashas made him Shiva Isi Barlekuno Achos Deime, and he. Give him a chavus or a tutor, was a shir menis v'lakunya who was his uncle. Um, and kol yoyim ava omar lekriyos said in the beginning he said I want to go back home. I want to go back home. Omar um, later told him chokim of the yosef the middle will make you a chacham the gul to the ava person will put on you a golden um, scarf the rebbe karulach and call your rebbe. In other words, wait here, you're going to become a uh, very, very good for you to stay here. You want to go to your city? I'm not going to say it again. So in other words, he convinced him to leave his bad ways, brought him into the Lord Tari, what I mean, I to tell you. So then, eventually, when the son of Allah's Mashim grew up, he went to sit down and the Bispanish Rebbe, Shana the Kali Rebbe, hears his voice. Oh, my high Kali, the Dhamma the Kali, the Blazma Shimon. Oh, the son of the Blazma Shimon. I'm the brave, the son. Korelei pre Tzadik eats Chaim, the Lokar and the Foshers Choch. More darshans. Pre Tzadik eats Chaim, the Abyssin of Blazma Shimon, that his sons continue his derech. He has a child. I mean, he's the pre of a Tzadik. He's the, he's the son of a Tzadik. And the first Chal comes up, Shimon Barisi Balikunyo, he took him and took care of him and he, grew, and, and he raised him. And he learned from him. Kinag when he was Nifter, Rabbi the son of Elizabeth Shimon, here the more, I mean, on this line, line before, the more introduced his name. Amtul and the devil, they brought him to the cave where his father's buried. Hava Adra Achla Matu, there was a snake that was surrounding the, the cave, like we saw yesterday, the tail was in the mouth. He says, allow the sun to come back. He did not open. 
maybe he's not on the level of his father. So that's the reason. He was together with Shimon by Yochai in the cave for 13 years. And his son not. So he has more of his host. Maybe he came to the city of Rav Taf. So Rebbe, the first case was the blows of Shimon and for his son. Then he went to Rebbe Rav Taf and said, Right? Does he have any child? What was the question? Shami Kapeh is one of his children died. I'm going to be right. Ben and all his kids died. But Ben Bas, he has a grandson. The call Zoyna, she is Kev Bishtayim, so Chad Bishwain. Again, he is ready Zoyna, who hires herself a two, hires him for eight because he was so beautiful and he was always super loose. So the Kamei brought in front of him. I'm going to lay you out if you're going to leave your bad ways. If you're going to love my toy, I'll give you my daughter. How do they? He did Chuva. He could have no so good. He married the girl and he died, divorced her. What was the reason? You know, they didn't say, oh, he only became about Shuva because of the wife. So that's why he didn't, he didn't marry or marry and divorce. What was the reason the Rebbe was running after other Tanoim to see who can he uh, to, to get the son? Someone teach to the son of his friend. He goes, he sits in Shiva Shemala, and Allah explains it because part of the Kurdish book, because he's so spiritual. He says, If you're going to bring back people that are not, they're gone, you'll be standing in front of me. In front of me. And if someone's going to teach um, uh, the son of Amar, it's talking about Philo Kishbul goes to Xero and Mivatla. Philo Kishbul goes to Xero, he can cancel it. Mishuloi Shlemav, you can see Yoker Mizoilu. You take out Yoker. This is said to everybody who's who's Isaac and Wimba Chu. In Toiti Yoker Mizoilu, you take out Yoker, expensive, value, from Zoilu, for something which is cheap. Kefiti, yeah, you'll be like my mouth, or whatever you say is in the way. And what's the Pshat? The Pshat is, as the Chidor points out, really a son of Amaretz is a low level Nishab. And naturally, he would not be able to, he won't naturally be connected to Torah. If you go and connect to Torah, that means you're changing the normal way of the world. So you can change the world as well. You have somebody who says, his son is a Chochum, his grandson is a Chochum. Shuv in Torah, Pesek Mizahar, Loyno. Torah does not leave. Shenemah and Yisus Bisi, O Ma Hashem, Loi Mushu, Mipicho, Bizarach, Pizar Zarach, O Ma Hashem, Atob Adrach. If it's you, your child, your grandchild, will stay forever. My Ma Hashem, O Kashbuch, and Ni, O Reb, the Chod of the Zam, the Arif. I'll make, I'll, I'll guarantee it. My Ma Atob Adolom, O Ma Vim, Mikav Eilach, To Yom, Mechazeris, Alexan, Shalom. Torah goes to its place, to its location, continues the same place. So all of the first Shem, everyone in his own, his own, in his own style, who says, says what's chat? What do you mean? Automatically, a person will be a Torah. A person has to be on the Torah. So all the Mefarsh would say, it's brought down in, in the name of the, the, the Nefesh Chaim, brings in the Ruach Chaim, and the Chavetz Chaim spoke about it, and many others. See, the Chassidus brought this idea, Shad is like this. The Torah was Mechazeris, and the Chavetz Chaim brought a Moshe. Because he came once to the city, and he knocked on the doors, and nobody opened the door for him. So, did he get to the city? Yeah. But did he get into someone's house? No. So also here, the Torah is Mechazeris, the Torah knocks on the door. But the guy has to open the door to open it. If he's going to open the door, there will be a, the Torah will get in there. He just needs to try. He will be easier for him to connect the Torah, but he needs to do his Ishtamas. So he, 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 he was, he fasted for Tanisim. So then after for Tanisim, he gave a promise, you will be at Lamechachim. He also said, he fasted for 40 more. Vakuyu, they saw the pasuk where Moshe Picho and Pizarach. They read it. So it's 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 such. He also said Mei Tanis Achino, and then he fasted another hundred Tanisim. The the Rebbe Rambam Mugalius wants to say it's forty. He proves it. Also Vakuyu, then he saw the pasuk where Moshe Picho and Pizarach and Pizarach and Pizarach. Oh, so now he got three three generations. When we come here with Achino, I don't have to fast anymore. Torah mechazes Achsan Shulah. Torah is going to come and. Circle and come to my family. Rabbi Zayik is like Larry to destroy. Rabbi Zayik came there to destroy. Yosim Meata Anis, so he fasted for Anu Tanisim. 
Till Ishtakach Gemoro Bavlo Aminis. He will forget the Talmud Bavli. Why? Rashi explains the Talmud Bavli. They have questions and answers, questions and answers. The Talmud is very clear. You wanted to have the clear mind of, 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 of Eretz Yisrael. Keich do need to try. They shouldn't bother. Yossi Meachir. He said. Then he had another hundred and eighty. Do Lishka Rabbi Lozer Bishnei. He didn't want Rabbi Lozer to die before him. Finafla Alayim Mili Tzibur, and he's going to be responsible for the Tzibur. He didn't want it. And you would try to see if, if it worked. He, he lit the oven. And he went into it. And the fire did not control. One day, Rabbanon did not like you know, this test. And then his... his, uh, his uh, his legs uh, burned. His, uh, his, maybe his thighs burned. The currently cut in small because he was he was he was, uh, he was a small person. Chayr shake burned thighs. On the day my dichti miyish chacham biyom and this this you remember this is a gemara mesechet the dark. So my dichti miyish chacham was biyom and zoi the shadi be pi Hashem alof veegido who is the one who's smart. And he's going to stand this. He's going to talk to him. He'll tell, tell us the story. What's the problem? What is it? Alma of the Reds. Why was the why was the Chirban Abais? Tovah says, "Okay, when the pain with Beis, Amru Chachamim will let me show the Chachamim. They asked the Chachamim, and Mi Eshe Chacham. They didn't have an answer. Why was it destruction? Because they were learning Torah. Amru Nevim will let me show. The Nevim did not say. At Shepiru Shakadosh Baruch Hu Be'atzo Shenem Avirim Hashem Ol Azvom Mr. Rossi." They left the Torah. They left the Torah. They were learning Torah. Not everybody knew that. They didn't do Birkas Torah. They didn't do Birkas Torah. As the Ran and the Durham explained, they didn't do Birkas Torah. Now she says over here that they didn't do a Birkas. Literally, they didn't do a Birkas. It wasn't Choshev in their eyes. The Ran says what the Torah wasn't Choshev enough to give it to give it the Chashivis of Birkas Torah. Well, they didn't say the Birkas. They said the Birkas, but it wasn't a Choshev. That's what we should do Birkas Torah. And the Maral goes on to explain, really similar to the Maran, that they didn't connect the Torah to Nisan the Torah. They was like, Akashbogu gave the Torah, and they were, they just learned Torah as uh, not knowledge, but not, not connect to Hashem. Says the Gemara, Oma Rav Chama, Oma Adichti Belev, Novo, In Tanua, Chochmo, V'Kere, Ketzelim, Tredia. That is the possible. Belev, Novo, In Tanua, Chochmo, V'Bi, Chochmo, V'Bi, Novo, In so he is already coming from a family of Chachamim. So he has Chacham. From the Ksilim family, he has Chacham. When you have a barrel, a bucket, and has in it one coin, the coin makes a lot of noise. Why? Because it's only one coin. If it's full of coins, it doesn't make so much noise. But one makes a lot of noise. So see, you're in a place where a family of people in Antwerp Chacham, this guy makes a lot of noise. I mean, very, 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 very uh, apparent. Says the Gemara, only a human have zero. Omar Dichtiv, Koton Vigodol Shomu, Vehebet Chofshi Meadonov. So it says in the Pasuk that there's a small and big and, there, and uh, slaves are released. Says the Gemara, "Idea the cut of the gold of Shomu. What is like? What do you mean the cut of the gold over here? What is coming to tell us? And the call of Makti and Atzal Divrei Toyu Aboylo Mazay. Someone who's a cut on in this world, not the gold of Loylo Mavos. He'll become gold there. The cut on here becomes gold there. Chalamei Sim Atzal Kehev Dal Divrei Toyu Mazay. He's he he's like a slave. He's a servant to Toyu. So then, not the Chofshi Loylo Mavos. In the world to come, you will be free. In other words, because he has he has the Toyu that will give him the freedom in Loylo Mavos." Shlokish would go around and, and uh, do a tzion. We resolve the Maharis, the Kavuru. When he came to the Bchiyah's cave, he wasn't able to find it. He didn't learn to him. He didn't learn to like him. He didn't learn to him. He didn't learn to him. He didn't learn to him. He didn't teach to him like him. And the Gwar goes on and quotes what we learned in Masechah Ksuvis. We're, we're fighting. Why are you fighting with me? You know that if that if if Torah gets forgotten, I will bring it back. So don't argue with me. 
where you have sparks of fire who be in the Asia and fire going up man me ail by nafchal tamon who will bring a by nafcho to there which means someone a, 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 a blacksmith isn't going to there in other words he said Rebbe is not proper for him to be over there um, so you don't bring over, okay says the Gemara and also maybe it means that that he's a blacksmith so he deals with fire you don't want to get too close to the fire Will be too much fire. That after in the morning his eyes look good. And then later in the evening, it looked like his, his eyes were burned in fire. I mean, my eye, what happened? I wanted to show me Rabbanon when they go up in the Rekia and Shemaim. I want to see them. You could look at all of them. Except the chair of Rekia. Don't look there. The Malachi when he goes up and down. You don't have the Malachi to go on its own. So don't look at when you see the one in the Numalachim, don't look at it because Abkhir is so great. Loi Matsoi Lukriana Shoi. He says, I could not stop myself. I looked at the chair of the chair. Was a tree butit in the neural, came two lines of fire. Umachulu Gavro, and they hit me with some lane and made me blind. Then I went to the Melaro, I went to the cave of Abkhir. Amino Masnio, so the Mar Masnio, I teach the 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 Mishnayos, the Brises that you talk. So please did help me. Wait, sorry, and he got and I healed. So that's why his eyes were burned. As Rav Tzvi says, his eyes were burned because he was seeing, but he looked. He had he had he had some signs from the fact for what happened before. So while the other Shkiel went to the Rebbe, he okay to the to to the Mishnayos Rebbe. Then we had the Shiachov. One day was Mishnayos. No Galevul else. He came late. Only my time and not a little more. Why you coming late? Only Ado, Ado, Kvinu Lavrom, Umashina Yodi. Until I woke up Avrom Avinu, wash his hands. Uma Atzeri Dav. Uma Gvir Le. I put it back to sleep. Chen Le Yitzchak. Chen Le Yaakov. It took time. I suppose for Shchaydi, it was a longer davening. So it took time. For the Kvinu Be'adai, why did you wake up Avrom and Yitzchak together? 
Savri to keep you back with again a Davin very strongly or my sibling Mashiach will Islam will be Mashiach too early. That's why they don't allow me to wake them together, each one on his own. There's somebody like Avram Yitzchak in this world. so great. Because came wind. Because comes, right away changes. And the world was about to move. Who's the one who revealed to the world? In other words, that Rabbi has the power to do it. All right, I'm really only the one who said that Rabbi has it. Assume that Yom Machu Shidin pulls in, or they hit, they, they hit him with 60 hits of fire. I don't know what that means, but it's something pretty bad, probably. Also, in the look at Duva Dinors, he appeared to them like a, a bear of fire. I'll be right between them. They didn't, were not able to say Mikhail Messi. So he's already asked that. It says Mikhail Messi before. Taki Bolo Lama Shem, Mikhail Messi, what do I have to say? So he says, but the Ikar Prezil Gokha is more than the name, Mikhail Messi. Okay, and more to talk about. Shmuel Yachino, Shmuel Yachino is a regular Rashi, that's Shmuel, the famous Shmuel of the Gemara. And he was Mehabur Chadosh, that's called Yachino, Loshon Yareach, Loshon Moon. I'll say the Rebbe Yav, he was the doctor for Rebbe. Rebbe had, he, he got sick in his eyes. Only I want to put medicine in you. I can't put medicine in my eyes. He started with Mishto. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going to put like a cream above your eye. I can't do it. Having moisture the bugukto the simone to see besides what he did, he put it a simon, put it like a little box underneath his pillow. The eighteen went through the pillow and he, and he healed it. Rabbi wanted to do him a favor. He knew that he was such a chashem person. He wanted to become, make him a rabbi. For the Rabbi Stamos, he wasn't able to. Rashi says he tried to get the rabbi together. He wasn't able to do it. Only the Stamar, the Didi has the Sefer Domish. He says, "Shmuel, don't worry. I saw the Sefer of Adam Rishon, where there it says everything that's going to happen in the future." Echtebe Shmuel Yachino, Shmuel the Yachino, that was his name. The people on Dalif, Chokim Yiskari. He will be called a Chokim. The Rebbe lo is He won't be a Rebbe. The also the Rebbe al yadoi. Rebbe will he will be healing Rebbe. Hey, Re- that's what it says. So he says, I, I, I'm not meant to be a Rebbe. Rebbe be no son save Mishnah. They are the ends of the Mishnah, because that that was the last Tanoim. They brought all Rashi brings here in, in length. They brought, they brought all the Tanoim together and put the Mishnah together. Rashi Ravina say for all they are the ones that brought the Gemara the Ikar Gemara together. The Simonoch Adavoy el Migdash Kel. Avino Lachwisol. So El Migdeshe is Ravashi. Because it says ah, it says there are uh, the Shin Avo El Migdeshe. So it's Ashi. Aleph of the El and Migdeshe Shin Yud of the Migdeshe. Avino is Loshin Ravino. Because Ravino is really Rav Avino. So in the poem it says, until I get the near is where I get to the end of the wall, which is the end of the top of the of the Shas. And this is the Khura Mokra, the Ravino Ravashi wrote the Gemara, and this is where all the the scholars come in to discuss. We fear many there were after Avinu Ravashi. So the one answer is uh, my uncle Rabbi Bergman is busy with it. That there is Ika Gemara and then there's just the, what it was added later. So Ika Gemara is Ravino and Ravashi. Okay, we'll stop over here. A lot to talk, a lot to discuss. But this is the push of shot here in the Gemara. Because I shall continue from here in tomorrow's daf, which is also Gata, but it has a loop in the middle as well. It's not just one continuation. They say the Gomor called Tuv.